these black people that are being used, they want to be used. They're like, they like that Bill Withers song. Keep on using me until you use me up. Come on, Democratic Party. Use me up. Just use me up. Send out to you, baby girl. I love you. It's black people that just want to be used by the Democrat Party. They enjoy being used because it means money. Case in point, Jennifer Lewis. Dear Boy. God, what have we done? Mm. Oh, I'll tell you what we've done. We've spent time trying to decide what flavor ice cream we're going to get. Mm. Because there are 10,000 flavors. Right. We spend half our lives choosing, trying to make a choice on bullshit. What movie tonight? Let me sit here for a half hour. No bombs going off. And we do nothing. We sit on our couches. Oh, I don't believe in voting. You fucking idiot. Mm. If that man gets in, as soon as he takes the oath, he will have generals walk down the steps of the Capitol. I got to I got to I got to stop it right there, man. I got to stop it right there. Who is she calling an effing idiot? I wonder if Jennifer Lewis is talking to white people. I'm just asking. Is Jennifer Lewis talking to white people on this black woman show? Zerlina the sellout show. I wonder who she's talking to. I wonder if Jennifer Lewis is talking to Asians. I don't think she is, man. I don't think she's talking to Asians. I don't think she's talking to white folks. I don't think she's talking to Latinos. Nah, she not. That's who she should be talking to. Just to refresh everybody's memory, Alicia Iverson, AI, could you tell us who's more than likely to vote for Donald Trump? Hey, Tim, sure. Um... Okay, here goes the graph. This shows you who voted for who. And as you can see, black Americans only voted 12% for Trump. We are the smallest voting block for Trump out of all of the voting blocks in America, save for Native Americans that are not on the list. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate you. No problem. I'll see you later. Mort Lago's so sunny. That's who she should be talking to, but I bet you she's not. You know how I know? Because she dropped an F-bomb. And Jennifer Lewis don't talk that way to white people. But Jennifer Lewis and Zelina Maxwell and all the field hands for the Democratic Party, they talk that way to black people. Particularly poor black people. Because those are the only people they could get away with talking that way too. If you wouldn't talk to white people who have money that way, if you wouldn't talk to black people who have money that way, see, I know she wouldn't talk to rich black people that way. Not rich ones, but she'll talk down to poor black people that way. If you don't have the heart to talk to everyone like that, you should talk to no one like that. I'm tired of these Democrat coons, sellouts, pandering, Hookers, they're hookers, man. They're going for the... Hey, look, sex workers, no disrespect, okay? No disrespect. But what they do is they give it up to the Democrats and they ain't put in a hard day's work. They throw us under the bus for the Democratic Party and they talk down to us. I'm going to let her finish, but she's going to get this work. You f idiot. Mm. If that man gets in, as soon as he takes the oath, he will have generals walk down the steps of the Capitol. He will take a hammer and break the glass where the Constitution is, and he will tear it up in our faces. Mm. And say, now, I'm the king of the fucking world. You will bow down, bitches. 
he will punish everybody that didn't vote for him. Let me tell y'all how I know this shit. I know it because I know what mental illness looks like. Hmm. I know you know what mental illness looks like because you are mentally ill, sister. And the fact that there are co-signing, like Rashad Richie, Rashad, what's up, bruh? Why, bruh? Why did I discover this shit show on your show? Mr. I'm the most watched progressive show in America. Jennifer Lewis. Comedian extraordinaire, actress extraordinaire, remarkable human being, said Trump will put black people in camps. Here it is. Dear God, what have we done? Why, bruh? Why did I discover this shit show on your show? Mr. I'm the most watched progressive show in America. Yes, yeah, because you sell out, man. People are, some people are outraged her comments, Jennifer Lewis, what, what, what do you mean? That's extreme. It's extreme. Beloved actress, Jennifer Lewis. I had the great opportunity to meet her in D.C. a few years ago. Beautiful soul. You sell out. Corny. This is corny shit. Why are you going to sit there and let Jennifer Lewis shit all over black people like that? If you can accept it, her words are prophetic. Why would you do something like that, bro? You an educated brother. Why would you do that? Oh, because you met her in person? Like, I give a fuck you met her in person. Why you let this bat sit up there and disrespect black people like that over Joe Biden? Why? Donald Trump's going to wipe his ass with the Constitution. I don't know. Did he wipe his ass with the Constitution the first time? Did he destroy America the first time? It's amazing because we're all still here. Is it that important for you to kiss the ass of the white Democratic Party, Jennifer Lewis and Rashad Ritchie, Dr. Rashad Ritchie, huh? That you would allow this bullshit on your channel, that you would do this. Then you had this goofball, Jordan Yule. All right, Jordan, thoughts here. So I think if we're being generous, she was very creatively describing what you're talking about. Come over there and co-sign it. You guys are a joke. You are a joke. And you know what? I'm noticing the viewership's going down, brother. Because black people are waking up. And not because of your current videos. Not because of your bullshit. Not because of your ADL supporting bullshit. But because they are tired of the fucking Trump shitting on Trump all the time. TYT station. Even Anna and Jake are smelling the f coffee. People waking have wake who have people have risen up. They they're recognizing bullshit when they see it. But that is pathetic that you would co-sign this shit and then hide behind. I met Jennifer Lewis. She's a really nice person, and she's also back crazy. She says it. She got all types of mental issues, so she says those horrible things. Try to scare everyone in the voting Democrat, and then runs behind. She got mental illness. Yeah, we know you got a mental illness. It's called coonet, coonitis. Coonitis. It's called buck dance, buck danceresses. Buck dancer It's the ability, the, the proclivity to buck dance for buttermilk biscuit itemists. That's what it is. It's called bedwincheritis. It's a bedwinch disease. A buck right to That's what you got. Uh-huh. You got white man ass kiss a Jennifer Lewis like she's some. And you're gonna put the the black the black mother of Hollywood. What, this heifer that wrote a book about banging everything that moved for 40 years? That's your litmus test. Why come you couldn't pick like a Shirley Ralph or, I don't know, uh, Alfrey Woodard or, I don't know, what's, what's, name some people, shit. How about Viola Davis? She's amazing. Angela Bassett. Come on. 
Halle Berry. Maybe not Halle Berry. Cicely Tyson. Yeah, Cicely Tyson. Rest in peace. Jennifer Lewis is not the benchmark of black womanhood in, a, in Hollywood or any other wood or any other hood, okay? She is a, she's a wing bat. And this right here looks horrible on your resume, sir. And I know you get a lot of views or you have got a lot of views in the past. This is bullshit, bro. You should not even, you should just skip this one. Just skip it and keep the credibility. Just skip it. Jesus Christ, man. Welcome to the bullpen to this bullshit. From the bullpen to this, to the pig pen. From bullpen to pin pig. Pig pen. The bullpen to the pole pit to the bullpen or the pig pen. Cut it out. Respect your audience. Nobody that damn stupid. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh no. Trump is coming. Trump is coming. Oh no. You genocide Joe worshiping assholes. There are several policies that Donald Trump, that Donald Trump put into place that I don't like, but you know what happened when Biden came in? Nothing. He kept them in place. He kept them in place. You run it back to try to emulate Trump on the border after all that tough talk. Yeah, I notice, I notice you guys are not calling out the shit that you were standing on. It's okay when it's okay when a Democrat does it. It's because all y'all are all about money. And y'all are willing to throw black people under the bus to make a few extra bucks to get a couple of buttermilk biscuits. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It's pathetic. Trying to scare everybody with this bullshit, man. Both, look, neither Joe Biden or Donald Trump are going to save you. Are going to save America. We need money out of politics, for Yo, hey, everybody. We need money out of politics here. If you're not willing to make a radical choice like a Dr. Cornel West, there is no hope. Cancel hope, okay? That's the truth. If you're not willing to go with a candidate that's going to pull money out of our politics... That's going to end qualified immunity for these damn cops. That's going to pull us out of these inter interventionist wars, these regime change wars. Unless you got a candidate that's willing to pack up the military industrial complex, wants to change our footprint in the world, wants to eliminate corruption at every level in the, the, the system of white supremacy. Unless you got a candidate that's willing to do that, we just trim it around the Bitches. That's all you're willing to do unless you got the guts to do that. Instead of telling me, oh, this guy's got no chance to win, help him win, help us build a third party so we got a shot. That's what you need to understand. Because neither one of these candidates, whether it's Trump or whether it's Biden, is going to make a radical change in the outcome of your life. But the reality is, if you ain't willing to challenge the status quo and make radical change, because the truth is this, man. Here's the truth. MLK wouldn't have voted for either one of these motherfuckers, okay? Neither one of them deserve our vote. Neither one. Malcolm X would not have voted. You think Malcolm X would have voted for Trump? Get that shit. Get out of here. Get the, get out of here. You think Fred Hampton would have voted for RFK Jr., you ass kissers? We could have built something, too. We could have built something. You got nothing for selling out. Nothing. Some scraps. They got scraps. People sell out for scraps, y'all. That's the, that's the lesson for the day. Stop selling out for scraps. Stop. I don't see anything outside of definitely probable, if not absolutely will happen as it relates to what she's saying. 